This is Math 141 Exam Practice 2. Problem number 9. I'm supposed to solve this thing. So let's do it. Uh, I've got natural log statements all over the place. So I think what I'm going to do is some condensing. So notice this is uh, subtraction. So that's going to condense down to some division. So x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. And that equals the natural log of x. So now I have natural log on both sides. I could do a little hand waving and say that just means I can ignore the natural logs. Or I can take e to the power of both sides. They both get me the same result, which is the natural logs are gone. Uh, x plus 1 over x minus 2 equals x. So now I'm going to go to solve this thing. And uh, this fraction's given me a little bit of grief. So I'm going to get rid of that x minus 2. Get it out of the denominator and get rid of it. Multiply both sides by x minus 2. And if I do that, over here it divides out to a 1. Left-hand side leaves me an x plus 1. On the right-hand side, distribute that x into there. I get x squared minus 2x. So now I have a quadratic that I've got to solve. So uh, what I'm going to do now is do, do, do subtract x from both sides. Get this thing equal to 0. So minus x. I think I'll subtract 1 from both sides as well. And what I end up with then is 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 1. And then from here, I could try and factor it. Um, I'm not going to be able to, though. So I'm going to run it through quadratic formula. And uh, if I run that through the quadratic formula, you might have on your calculator. You might do it by hand. I end up with x is about 3.303 uh, and uh, negative point. 303. And now what I want to do is check and make sure that, that neither of these answers make me take the natural log of a negative number. And if I plug this negative number in, I'd be going natural log of negative here, natural log of negative here. So I'm going to throw that out. This one checks out. I'm always going natural log of positive numbers with that value. So that's my answer.